Hey, it's your girl, Be Thirsty Pretzel. Welcome back to another video, Rags to Riches, with our girl, Cheyenne Wiley, and our two little kitties, Sabrina and Merlin, which we got last episode. Um, last episode, we also finished the first semester of school, so we have this semester she has to do her homework for, so let's get that set up. And then, we also, spoiler alert, got our potion shop. So that's a big deal because that's uh -huh. kind of one of the main goals of the Let's Play is to open a potion shop and start making her money through selling potions. So we're going to need to take these potions and actually maybe the fizzy black magic juice um, and sell it in the potion shop this episode. Oh, why does it say she completed all the homeworks? Is that a glitch? I mean, it's a good glitch if it's a glitch, <laughs> um, but she definitely did not complete all the homework so i guess when we go to class we'll see if that actually is true uh let's get the b stuff and then i do need her to create more potions at some point well let's check on the cats I'm gonna pet maybe play with the laser yeah let's play with the laser pointer and then do some potioning because we also need to complete her aspiration oh and do her term paper so but there's a lot going on um but we need to complete her aspiration which is to get to the next level or actually the virtuoso level i can't talk the virtuoso um, level of magic which she's not there yet but she's very close to the master level so we just need to do magic as much as possible so that way she oh i thought she was almost done um <laughs> that way she could complete her aspiration oh no oh no cursed oh and she's green now fantastic um <laughs> this actually happened in the lost episode the one that i had all the technical issues with and couldn't fix um curse of repulsiveness well i can't have that because I also wanted her to potentially meet the guy that I've been talking about that I put in the game for her who she hasn't met yet. She did meet another cute boy um, in the last episode, but it's not the boy that I meant. But we can't have her looking like this because I want her to go on a date potentially. I'm not going to force it, but I was kind of hoping. So we're going to need to get rid of this curse. Luckily, she does know the Decursify spell, so we're going to have to do that. It would be cool to leave her green, but she can't be going on a date like that. Let's Decursify you. <laughs> She's literally only green for like a sim hour. <laughs> yeah. Need to get rid of that. There you go. Back to being cute. And then, oh! You guys are eating together? Why are you so cute? I missed it. They really are cute though. So, what else you need to do? Let's have you fill the bowl. And then maybe get some sleep. Take a nap. Play in leaf pile. Buy a pet ball. Okay, let's have you eat and then we'll have you go to sleep. Because you don't have class tomorrow and you did the homework. You also did your turn paper or at least you know the first level of the turn paper so maybe since we have some potion nancy have you been to black spire Al oh okay so i got journey to batu i have not played it yet because i needed to do this first but i do plan to play that but not with cheyenne <laughs> so there will be another i don't want to it's a let's play i guess let's super sell this but um it's gonna be a let's play but not like a series unless you guys like it i just want to play through i'm gonna create a completely new character that is not known and then play it so let's make another potion and then maybe two more potions this one plus another one and then we'll have hopefully enough to sell in the potion shop and if you did not see the last episode where I build the potion shop, I'll put a little card somewhere 
<laughs> um, and I'm about to take you to the potion shop. But if you'd like to see how I built it with the limited amount of money that we got last episode, you can check that video out. Okay, so she's tired. Let's have her sleep, and then after she wakes up, we'll go to the potion shop. Actually, let's hit a shower first, because for opening the potion shop and somebody cute shows up, she can't be in there smelling. I love the cats so much. Okay, so this is the potion shop with the walls down. <laughs> I didn't put that much stuff because we didn't have that much money. Um, but let's... I also built her a little garden in the back. So I'm going to put some of the stuff she has. Have her plant it. So that way she'll have a garden here. And then a garden at the house. But I think the one at the house we're going to phase out. And let's put all the potions up. It's going to take a while, so I'm just going to speed through that. Set them all for sale. Should I sell these? Maybe not. Or maybe put them on a different display. Let's set all these for sale. This is also going to take a while because it has to be done individually, so I'm going to cut through that. Um, and then... Bats. What the heck? Okay. Let's get back to planting. Um, and then let's also put some wallpaper and some flooring in because I realized I didn't do that last episode. Although it did look fine with just the gray, but let's get another display case here and maybe we can put the gems on that. I also want to get her a cauldron here so she can start making potions in the shop rather than at the house. Although we'll still have the cauldron in the house, but I might move that indoors so that, you know, she doesn't get super frozen from being outside because I think winter is about to start if it hasn't started already. So let's make it a little witchy back here. Get some herbs for the wall. I did not realize that the Batu pack um, came with those kind of herbs, but that's cool. So I'm going to just skip through this planting thing. Just speed through it. She's getting so many influence points, though, from doing this. So, she's all finished with that. She has to use the bathroom. And then, when she's done, I'm going to have her eat this from her inventory. Because she's kind of hungry, but not super. Let's put out these gems. And we'll sell those, too. Yeah, I'll put this one out. I wasn't going to, but the Baconite one. Okay, so we set those for sale. So now we need to open the shop. Oh, we need to set the prices, actually. So let's do that. Set store prices. You know we're going to do 100% markup. <laughs> um, and then I think that's it. We don't have employees, so we can just open the store. Ooh, our first day of business. The literally the whole point of the let's play was to get to this point and to make her like self-sufficient, raise her money because she started with zero, not a house, not anything. So if you've been watching through the whole way, then this is a big moment. If you have not been watching through all way, why is this lady show up at my shop naked? This is the same lady who never has on the right clothes. She has clothes. But she showed up in the last episode, too, and I think she was in her underwear. So let's put her clothes on. Um, it's just her winter outfit that is not there for some reason. So let me put her in something else. Um, ooh, okay. He looks like he's close to buying, so we need to work on him. I also realize that having a shop or retail store is super hard. Cause like I forgot that you have to bother them constantly with like answer questions, discuss shopping preferences, to shop price, not shop prices, discuss prices, and it's like so annoying. <laughs> oh, she's blue. Oh no, she's freezing. All right, fine. I guess she's gonna have to go back in her underwear because that's her winter outfit or something weird. I don't know. I don't understand how she would freeze with clothes on. But when she's in her underwear, she doesn't. We'll see. 
she's just blue. Oh, see? Now, that makes no sense. Whatever. Um, Alright, we need to work on this guy and this lady. Because they have the highest bars. Oh, yay. Our first sale. I'm so excited. Um, I was going to say, if you do not have Get to Work and you've never opened a retail shop, does it Get to Work? It must have been. Um, if you never opened a retail shop, basically you have to have retail interactions with your customers and then they will buy something and you have to ring them up. Oh yeah, she's going to buy something. Um, so if you don't ring them up, eventually they get impatient and they leave. But all these bars above their head is how likely they are to buy. So that's why you have to interact with them. When she gets enough money, I might hire one of the coven members or maybe just the other coven members to work in the store yeah 400 simoleons yeah um so we might hire them as employees when we have enough money but i kind of enjoy her working in the shop but we'll see what happens why are you making mac and cheese like i know you're hungry but you're supposed to be using your magic so we're going to discard that and just delicioso some stuff There you go. Ooh, pizza. So these people are basically just standing around in here. Um, if you don't interact with them, there's not much here. Well, you don't have on much clothes, and I don't say anything about you. Get the heck out of here. Um, yeah, so some of them, if their level stays low, they'll just leave. Who's that? Oh, I put him in the game. I forgot. <laughs> I put him in the game when I put in... I think he's from the same household as the cute guy we met last episode. Ooh, yay, gonna buy something. Sometimes when you don't talk to them, they just buy stuff. Hey, it's our girl, Viviana, from the coven. She will definitely buy something. If she doesn't, I'm gonna be very upset. But no, her level is higher than the other people who came in. So we'll work on her next after we ring this customer up. Come on, girl. Put the pizza down. Thank you. Bring her up. Jacques. Billy Real. No, we don't want to be in any club. We're already in a coven. Thank you. Okay, so ring her up. Then eat the pizza. Then work on Viviana. That's the plan. These other people are just loitering. Like, I'm going to need you to leave. Yeah. Oh, the higher their level gets also, the more options. So, like, offer information. Ooh, yep, she's buying. And then when you sell something, you get those little place markers in the place where whatever the item was. So you can either restock the item or remove the sign. And I'll probably remove the sign, but... Sometimes it's just easier to restock. But if you restock, then you have to pay to restock it. So you kind of lose some of your profit. But I know most of you probably already know this. Just explaining for the people who don't. <laughs> okay, this guy definitely wants to buy. His bar was pretty high. So let's work on him. All these other people, I'm really thinking about kicking out of the store. Because you really just stand in here. Especially this kid. She doesn't even, like, look at her. Get the heck out of here, kid. Can I send her home? It's actually not giving me the send home option. It's just saying ask customer to leave. So I might just use MCC. Alright. Come on. Buy something, dude. Okay, she has to use the bathroom. But I did not lock the door. She also has to use the bathroom. So I didn't lock the door for the bathroom so that customers can use it. But if one of them breaks the bathroom, then I'm going to lock the door. Okay, good. The kid's leaving. Ooh, yes, he's buying. Okay, after he buys, I may close the store. Because I think we've been open for like 12 hours. That's a long time. <laughs> and she's really tired. So for a first day of the store being open, we sold four potions... We had a lot of people come in. And I think that's pretty good. So we may close this. I think we're going to close it. 
if this thing ever finishes. Come on, give me the money. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're gonna close this shop. So, profit, 1,600 simoleons. That's pretty good. So everyone is gonna leave now. We're gonna remove all these signs. Yeah, get out of our bathroom. And then we'll tend the garden and then we'll send her home. She needs to sleep. She definitely has class tomorrow. I was just checking the, so that has two days and that has four days because those actually go bad. So the good thing is when you have stuff on sale, like set for sale, it doesn't really expire as quickly. So we can leave those at least for a couple days. She's so tired. And we are back home. We're going to send her to sleep. And the cats are okay, I guess. It's really cold though, so I think I should buy a thermostat. But I also, like I was saying at the other lot, I want to move her cauldron inside. But I don't think, I don't. there's no room really here. Oh, I, I need to fix the roof. That's the other thing. I noticed that the roof was messed up. So I'm going to fix that. And just expand the bathroom a little bit. So that it's even. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create. Also, I had to change the windows after that patch. Because basically, as you guys know, it messed up all the windows and doors. So all the windows and doors that I had were glitched out and didn't work. So I had to replace them. So that's why the windows look different, um, if anybody noticed. But yeah, back to what I was saying. The cauldron, I think I'm going to move inside. And I'm going to make like a basement, like a witchy basement, <laughs> for her potion stuff. So um, I, I just need to figure out where the stairs should go. I'm not good at making basements. <laughs> like I always put the stairs in the wrong spot. And I put the room, like if I'm trying to connect an upstairs room to a downstairs room, I always put it in the wrong spot. You'll see. I'm probably about to do it right now. I think it goes here. This should be big enough to fit a cauldron. See what I mean? It's not in the right spot. <laughs> so, um, move that. Yeah, okay, that's where I wanted it. So the desk obviously has to be moved. The bed has to be moved. And we need to put up, like, a half wall or something so she didn't fall down the stairs. I mean, we could just use a, like, a railing, but I prefer to use a half wall. That's kind of more my style. Okay, let's make sure the cauldron fits. Yeah, that works. We'll put it there. And then we should... I guess move the desk over here and we gotta move those shelves okay so the shelves we'll just move there for now I can't stay there though because she won't be able to get in the bed um, move the little cat yarn put up the little half wall yeah that works and then Put the wallpaper. It looks okay, I guess. Definitely needs to change the half wall trim. Maybe make it... I don't know what color. Um, blue, maybe, to match the wallpaper? No. Uh, what about black to match the window frame and the door? Yeah, that works. Yeah, that didn't look too bad. And then down to the basement, let's get a light in here. I love those, like, saucer lights. I'm so glad they made them so tiny and added them to the game. <laughs> I mean, because having to resize them is fine, but it's, like, so much better not having to do that. 
I like this wallpaper. I want to make it kind of dark. I moved the shelves that were upstairs for the cats down here. So when the cats are older, they'll be able to come down here. Let me add some flooring. And we have three simoleons left. So I will not be doing anything else. Let's have her go to sleep. And then when she wakes up, I'll have her use the bathroom and get something to eat. And then I feel like she's always transfer some money. Not a lot, just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Um, I feel like she's so close to the next level um, for her aspiration for magic. Let's add the thermostat. So I think I want to have her work, like experiment on the cauldron and see. Okay, wait, let's put the temperature up first before I forget. I don't want the cats to be cold. I mean, I don't want her to be... Wait, why didn't it work? Warmer. Oh, she can't... <laughs> she can't get there. <laughs> because the bed is blocking her in. I can see that there's not much room. Oh, yeah, let me make sure. Yeah, that's why. She's definitely stuck there. Okay, so... We're gonna have to get you a smaller bed. Which is fine. I mean, you're the only one sleeping in it. So it doesn't matter. Let's just get you... A single bed... One that matches the wallpaper. This is cute. I like this one. So, we just put it like that for now. And then, have you do the thermostat. Use the bathroom. And eat. Okay, so... Also fill the cat bowl. Oh, what are you two doing? What are you two doing? Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. Okay, let's have her play with the cats because I need their relationship to be really high. Oh, they're so cute. I'm so glad we got cats. All right, um, let's play with Merlin. I wonder when they're gonna age up. Well, I'll check it later. She has class in five hours, so let's work on some magic. I think we have enough potions for now, so we'll just have her experiment, because that should get her up to the next level. Oh, you became friends with Merlin. That's good. Alright, let's go downstairs and make some potions. The bed's in the way. Oh. Alright, I guess we're moving the bed again. I'll just put it against the wall for now. I will fix it. I'll figure out the layout of the room <laughs> at some point. But let's experiment for now. Hopefully that helps with her magic. Ooh, rebate day. Okay, so we need to do that too. I wonder if I just delete the bed and buy it again if that works. And then class in four hours. She's so close. I she has to like level up. I think she definitely will before she goes to class. Come on. She definitely just went through the wall, but I'm not going to say anything because she's magical. So maybe that's why that happened. <laughs> Start of term, okay? I mean, I knew that already, but we need to make sure she finishes the term paper. Because she did a draft of it, but it's obviously not good. And I don't need her. Oh, yes. Cheyenne is a spellcaster master. I was going to say, I don't need her to get on academic probation. Like, in my Dumpster Dive to Survive series. That's not good. Okay, so a little extra chemistry. Because she's making potions for a living, I think we need to stay on this particular perk track. I don't think that's the right 
way to say that, but <laughs> I think we need to stay on this. So we'll get this one. And then we have one other point, Mix Master. I think we'll get those two. I think we're going to leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Bye, pretzels.